ever midday the worker. My ever gorgeous Sandra, That's how you doing? Me. I'm good. <laughs> Aren't you going for lunch? Um, no. The CEO just gave me work that I have to get done before the end of the day, so. Hmm. Bami Dele. Hmm? Now who get good health then they give work? Oh. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, my wife is bringing food for me anyway. Ah, wow, that's a better lunch. Yes, it's I guess you'll be needing a kind of lunch. Mm. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> of all this now, eh? Well, what you saw earlier isn't actually really Don't you dare deny it! I'm not a fool! Why don't you listen to me first? What do you have to say? That lie! I'm being silly, Abby! Why don't you just listen to me? Because she will not even say the truth! There is absolutely nothing between I and Sandra. She is just my co-worker. There, there was nothing to what you saw the other time. What? I honestly don't know why I think that you have changed from your bad behavior when we got married. But I was naive. You think it never be ever changed this kind? Hey, look, look, listen, listen. Please, I want you now. Like oh, now. stop, please, please. We'll do it some other night, okay? You said that last night and nights before. What have I done to you? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, hmm? Please, let me sleep now. Let me sleep. I have somewhere very important to go to in the morning. Oh. Bamidili, I go to judge you for everything you're doing to me. We're going to sleep till eternity. <laughs> oh, stop being dramatic, okay? Uh, I, I just slept a few hours ago. I don't think you have an idea of what time it is. Okay, I overslept. Can I get my good morning kiss now? Okay. Morning. Good morning. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we go and visit my parents today. Um, I don't, we, we can't do that today. I have somewhere to go. But today is Saturday. I know. We both promised that we were going to have today to ourselves. Um, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to tell you. Um, Sandra, she invited me for a burial in, in Elisha. Sandra? Mm, Sandra. Don't tell me you're considering going to that party. Are you? <laughs> Maybe. You're funny. Of course now. Sandra is a very good friend and a colleague of mine. I won't want to disappoint her now. Hey. Oh, <sighs> wait a 
Pretty day puts the stuff. But, uh, I'm sure I used it yesterday when I drank it here. Any? Any Ola? Yes, darling. Okay, good morning, sir. Any, have you seen my car keys? I don't know. Yeah, morning, Cynthia. Have you seen my car keys? No, I can not see them. Are you going this early? Oh, yes, of course. You know it's Saturday. Traffic is always there, so I want to just quickly come. So you've not seen my car keys? Uh -uh, I didn't. Maybe I'll just check the box. Okay. Well, wow, I think I pour everything. No, no. Doing under the couch. No, this is not mine. I don't use this brand. Cynthia! 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 Oh, come on now! What has this? Are you there? I've been in fix. I beg. I beg. My mistake. I beg. You know what? I, I really don't have time for this nonsense. I'll just go and take a bus now. No, no, you can't take a bus now. Let's look. Let's look for it. Forget about this. We'll sort it out later when I get back. Just, just fix this nonsense that I've just witnessed. Fix had ways. Everyone has got kind of for this kind of picture. Someone has it. Honey, won't yeah. you at least take your breakfast before you go? Uh, I don't have time for that now. I'm running late. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm running this already. Okay. Go now. Boss for I will so deal with you with that evil Sandra. Don't worry. See your key. Oh yes, I left the party very early. And where have you been since then? I went to the market to get food stuff. Cynthia! 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 Madam! Ah, Madam, welcome. How are you? Fine, thank you. Have you washed the clothes I asked you to wash? Yes, ma. Okay, don't wash them. Take this to the kitchen. Oh. What?
Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. What is what happened? What's happening now? Are you ready to shout? Did I call you? Get out of my side, Job! Get out of my side! Hey Sandra, I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. It was an emergency actually, so... But you should have informed me before you go. I'm sorry darling, I'll make it up to you, okay? Hope you don't forget on Monday. <laughs> How can I forget such an important meeting? You just get prepared. You know I'm always ready. Any time, any day. We'll see about that. Take good care of yourself, okay? See you on Monday. <laughs> yes, I remember, I remember, I remember. How do you think of it? Uh, Bobby you are still seeing this girl. Which girl? Sandra, of course. Oh, what is the meaning of all this problem? I have told you times without number that I have nothing. I repeat, nothing to do with this girl. Did my wife put you up to this? Just, just imagine. Eh? I left home with the problems to come here to hang out with you and then you are bringing the problem from home right here. Look, this girl is simply my colleague. How I have the colleague thing? I have colleagues as well and I know how to interact with them. Look, let me tell you, you had better go and clean up your mess at home. Or else, when you get yourself into trouble, do not call my number. Colleague, girl, colleague. Girl. <laughs> What was all this now? And what has come over you, Enola? And eh? what exactly is your problem? Mom, you are my problem. You are my problem. I'm your wife for crying out loud. Let me have you whenever I want to have you, Mom, What was all this now? I keep telling you that. Look, we will do it, but it's not when I have some. But you keep saying that every time. You will not have me, but you have that stupid Sandra. Mom, I need to have my husband tonight. Let me sleep. Nobody is sleeping. Let me sleep. Mom, nobody is sleeping. Nobody is sleeping. I want to have my husband. Why want to have no, 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 no. Stop this now. Stop this now. Only of this now. Sister, what's going on? Since I came into the house, you have been so moody. What's going on? Is everything okay? Florence. I'm facing hell in my marriage. How? I thought you guys are happily married. Huh. My husband is cheating on me with a lady in his office. What? I can't believe your husband could do such a thing. Neither could I. I didn't take it serious. But right now it's getting out of hand. I even confronted him and he turned it to a fight. I'm fed up. I don't know what to do. Oh, sis. It's okay. This is the time for you to talk off. Don't let one unfortunate girl destroy your home. What do you have me do? Sister, do anything you know to stop them from seeing each other. Florence, advise me. Sis, you are a woman. Do I need to start telling how to entice your husband? <laughs> Why are you talking as if you don't know me? I've done all the trick that I know. <laughs> Can you believe Bamidele stopped sleeping with me? Sister, you have been too quiet about this issue. Don't let this woman seize your husband totally. <laughs> what do you want me to do? 
Sister, you don't need to be too naive about this issue. Wake up. Do something. Sandra. I need the truth. Why are you seeing Bamidele? Do you want to ruin his home? Oh my goodness. He has a wife. What is your problem? You're a beautiful girl. There are a lot of men out there that, that can meet you, war you. A lot of things are going well for you. Femi, I don't understand what you're saying. What do you mean, why am I seeing Bamidele? As in, are you saying dating? Bamidele and I are just colleagues. Yes, maybe I'm a little bit too close to him because he's very hardworking and very supportive. But other than hey, that... support. Put it there. You said support. Good, fine. Retrieve your steps. He is a married man for yeah. crying out loud. You are a single girl. There are a lot of men out there that can woo you. Leave Bamidele alone. Oh, please, Femi, Femi, just stop it. Oh, no, 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 Thank you. I hope you're not going to work early tomorrow. Why'd you ask? I want to use your car. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. It's just that um, Sandra invited me for a meeting in the hotel. So. Sandra again? what needs to be done. I figured out something warm and good for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. There you go, you cheating bastard. Bamidele, I don't get you. You ought to have gotten here by now. 
What do you mean you've been expecting me since? Is it done yet? See, please, please, please. Just try and get here on time. We're desperately waiting for you. Yeah. What's that? Are you alright? I'm good. I'll be with you very soon. Okay? How oh, did I have forgotten? Sit down. Who wants me of this? Why did you pack all my clothes away from the wardrobe? Okay, now, 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 madam, soak everything. I can't make her wash them. What did I do again now? Eh? What kind of problem be this? Show me how to make her wash these clothes now. You said me, I don't feel tired. I don't tire for them. Jack, now I'm supposed to wash your clothes. Can I go give my wash? Yeah, the one still beats me up, so. How now? Bros, come back. What do you want? Ah, what kind of stupid question is that? I beg my friend, will you excuse, excuse me? Excuse me, sir. You cannot enter here with this. Ah, look, you had better let me go into this place now before I deal with you. What kind of stupid question is that? I look, I have a. I'm, I'm coming. Hello, Sandra. Yeah, I'm in front of the the building. I will be with you guys very soon. Please, just let them hold on, okay? I'll be with. You. Now Look, me, Mr. Man, if you don't allow me to pass through now, I will make sure they sack you today. What kind of rubbish is this? Look, why are you getting it? Look, why are you getting it? Don't stop. Mommy, I got it. Ah, sir. Sandra, thank God you're here. Ah, why are you looking like this? Well, you see, it's a very, very long story. I'll explain hey, to you. Hey, but wait. You can't go to the meeting looking like this. Eh. We need to get you changed. You know what? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just leave this premises. Well, Sandra, I really want to say a very big thank you for what you did for me. Honestly, I would never forget it. What are friends for? But, Bamidele, yes. you really need to sort things out with your wife. I mean, talk to her. Things are getting out of hands. Look at what she did to you. She really went too far. Don't worry about that. I know how to deal with her. No, 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 no it's okay. Don't worry. I'm dealing, no. Violence is never the answer. You should have a matured conversation with her. I've heard you. I want to say, once again, thank you so much. Mm. You know what? You are still very upset. We're going to continue this conversation at the office tomorrow. Maybe you should have your drink, please. Have your drink. Here you go. Thank you. If you talk to me now, eh? If you say... I'm sorry. I just had Cynthia to soak your clothes. Oh, oh. Hey! Oh, Madam, I have Foolish girl, shall you see what you have caused now? Did I beg you to soak his clothes? Did I? Huh? Madam, I'm waiting you tell me now. Do you see me can soak everything that Oga no go fit come out now? Just case out of my sight, my girl. Which can go... I 
I don't know what you children have turned this house to. A boxing ring or what? Eh? I don't know what uh, children of nowadays are turning into. Eh? Eh? If your wife behaves like a lady, you won't go. Eh, Bamdele? You really, really disappoint me. Really disappoint me, Gani. Daddy, it is not Bamidele's fault. It is Enyola that holds the bigger brain. She's too jealous. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what is happening. Well, Bamidele, if it is me that married your mother and she gave back to you, young Bamibe, go and apologize to your wife. Hmm? Uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you also have your own blame too. You 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 have your own blame inside. Uh, I just know I should have been patient uh, a little more. So please forgive me. Enola, Enola, now that your husband has apologized, hmm? I want the matter to die down now. <laughs> Bamidele, go to your wife and do the property. <laughs> you know now, Mark, in here. <laughs> Go close to her and do the rifle thing. <laughs> ah. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, now that uh, they've. Is that party? Let us start to break bread for the stomach. <laughs> This food looks delicious. <laughs> Mami Dele, that is why your face has been shining. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Hey, you're welcome, my wife. <laughs> you see, I like ladies of nowadays who know how to. He seems to generously um, spice this soup with a lot of pepper. Ah, ah, you know, Dave. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Enola, now you need to love and respect your husband. <coughs> Sorry, my love. Sorry. This, uh, you don't know, they don't know how to cook on. <coughs> I'm really sorry for what happened. I didn't know the paper was that much. Of course you do. Just the way you know that my father has a medical condition that forbids him from eating pepper. I'm so sorry. That was no intention. You know what? I don't care. Just don't kill us with your poison. Bamidili. What? What has come over you? My food is now poison, right? But that's exactly what you made for us this afternoon. Even your auntie could not eat it. I said that was a mistake, and you know. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, yes. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, you can't cook. You, you can't do house chores. You can't even bear me children. I mean, of what usefulness are you being a wife to me? Hey?
please leave me alone. I've had enough of your insults. Come on, I'm sorry. I was just having a bad day. You said I'm useless because I can obey you children. <laughs> of course not. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I'm still useless. Hey, look at me. I love you. Okay? I really do. And that's not going to change whatever the situation. Mandele, I don't think I can believe that anymore. I don't understand us. We're too far away from each other. Both of us are too far away from each other. I don't know if it's because of my miscarriage. Why are you talking like that? You shouldn't talk like that. The miscarriage was nobody's fault. I think we should just forget about it and move on with the future. Okay, you're not making it easy for me. It's over two months we've had sex. I'm telling you, I've changed. I'm sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. I promise everything's going to change for the better now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to go I don't understand. Alright, honey. So, dinner this evening? <laughs> Deal. That's my girl. Oh boy, you know drink. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Drink is not my problem. Please, why did you bring me out here to hang out with this home breaker? Femi, please calm down. We're in a public place. Hey, I was the one that asked him to call you here. The reason is, I want to explain myself. I want the same thing that you want. I'm not happy about the situation on ground. I'm not happy that he's having issues with his wife. I don't even know how to explain this. Bamidele and I are just colleagues. There's nothing between us. In fact, I'm engaged. Bamidele knows the man I want to marry. This is an engagement ring I'm wearing. Do you think this is fashion? No, it's an engagement ring. I've never even thought about Bamidele like that. As, as in, I, I don't even know what to say. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you believe me? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, where's my own drink? Uh, please make it two bottles. Thank God. Bauman, please give him a crate of whatever he wants to drink. Uh, uh, and please, don't forget to add turkey. Okay, turkey, please. Let them spice it very well. Hmm? Hey. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Thank God, though. Yes. Thank you for the outing. <laughs> oh, sweet home. You're welcome, darling. Ah, I enjoyed myself as well. Mm, home, sweet home. Honey, hmm? I had fun this evening. Mm. Thank you for the outing. <laughs> I had fun too. You're welcome. Yes. <sighs> Where is this girl? Cynthia! Yeah, no. I pray this girl has not slept too. Eh? I could kill for a glass of cold water now. Okay then, I need to visit the toilet. I'll bring the water when okay. I'm coming. Cynthia! What is this? 
Cynthia with her ways of keeping things. So you know all this and you told me everything is fine. What took you so long? Ah. Ah. Why are you crying? I hit my head against the door. Oh, sorry, darling. Sorry. You should be very careful next time, eh? Yeah. Sorry. I have to go to the bedroom. I'll have to wake up early tomorrow. It's all right. Sorry, eh? Bye, nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Take, um, like, a pain relieving tablet or something. Hmm? came in so sudden. I have to leave whatever thing I was doing. My life has ruined. Sister, stop saying negative things and tell me what is going on. I now understand why Bamidele is cheating on me. He knows I cannot bear any children. It's a joke. The last miscarriage injured my own. I cannot get pregnant again. If I do, I will lose my life. How did you know about this? I found it in the toilet where Bamdele kept it. So he knew about it and he didn't tell you? Yes. And he was still ensuring me yesterday that everything is fine. Oh. Maybe that's why he has not touched you for a while. Hmm. What are you going to do now? I just don't understand my life. I don't know what to do. It's okay. Let's just keep praying. I'm sure God will help you. Amen. All I need now is miracle. Just keep your mind at rest, okay? Thank you, sis. Oh, my sister. Let's Thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> Sweetheart, I thought you would be asleep by now. I didn't know you were awake. How are you? Why are you coming home this late? It's the traffic. The traffic is crazy. Very terrible. Mom, Lily. Huh? Come here. Huh? I said come here. Uh. What is this? What? Ah. I don't even know what this is. I know you would not know. I'm so wrong to think that you can ever change. Okay, okay, alright. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I actually went to the club after work and my my friends got crazy. But trust me, I didn't do anything. No, I did not do anything. I need to try and believe.
Rise and shine, beauty. What is this? I just, uh, it's breakfast. I thought I should bring you hot tea with bread. Amadele, huh? please stop this drama. I'm really not in the mood. Well, I'm sorry, honey. I really am about what happened. You see, it's really not what you're thinking. I don't really care what to do with your life. That's on the street. Sandra, <laughs> well, I... Hello? Hello? Huh? Eh, Bamidele, uh, good evening. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, My car just broke down on a lonely road. Please, can you come pick me up? Uh, ah, I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm at the village with my wife. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. So what are you going to do now? Don't worry, I'll call someone. Oh, okay. Sorry, eh? Sorry. I'll be disturbing someone. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Babe, Alpha. There's something I need to show you on Mm. Hey, <laughs> uh, Shegu, what's up? We still haven't seen. Yes, my brother. You promised you were going to wait for me, but when I came back, I was told you already left. Look, bro, I'm sorry I waited, but when the time was getting late, I decided to just leave. I asked you to wait because I have something important to discuss with you. Oh, really? So what's up? Huh, bro, man, there's a big problem, oh. Okay. Are you going to tell me what the big problem is before you start playing with words? Yeah, Rebecca is back home. Which Rebecca? The same Rebecca, your ex. What? How did you know? She came to my house looking for you. Okay. What, what did she want? Guy, she claimed you jitter her. She swears she's going to come back to you. I, I hope you did not tell her anything about me. You should trust me, bro. You really need to be vigilant. That girl is trouble. Yes, I know. I mean, in fact, that's the last thing I want in my life right now. Not with this up, off and on episodes I have with any. All right. Let's take care. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Okay. Where was us? What are you doing there? I... I said make her come, whether you get with you, if you send make I do for you. So is that why you want to now stand on my head? I'm going to get out of your fight to send on you. So make I not do anything for you. Because I'm sorry.
Hello? Who am I speaking with? So, this is how it is, She. You want to use me and dump me. That is not possible. Rebecca. Rebecca, I, I, I didn't know you were in town. When did you get back? A few weeks ago. I've been searching for you since. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I forgot to tell you, I, I no longer stay in Lagos. I've been transferred to Kaduna. Kaduna? Yes, Kaduna. I guess I will have to come see you. Uh, no, no, you don't need to come, come at all. Look, um... You know what? I will call you when I come to Lagos. Bamidele, are you trying to avoid me? Come on, that's not what I'm doing. You know I'm a very busy man. And <coughs> sometimes I... Uh, Charles, Charles. Oh, I told you to stop calling me Zeli. I will call you back when I come back from work, eh? Okay, Charles. Alright, Charles. Uh, good morning, darling. Uh, good morning. Please give me water. Okay, ma. I take off. Thank you. Uh, Madam, somebody find you come. It's like I give you this. She called herself. Okay, uh -huh, I remember. Uh, Rebecca. Hello? Oh, who am I speaking to? Eniola of whatever you are called. I trust my message has been delivered. Who is this? Listen to what I'm about to tell you. Fool, I regret not meeting you at home. I would have dealt with you. Who is this lunatic? Let me make you understand something, Baron. You are just a figurehead wife. Bamidele truly belongs to me because I bore him a bouncing <gasps> baby girl. I know you must have seen her picture. I only left him for a while and now I am fully back to take over my matrimonial <sighs> home. So I would advise you to pack it. Happy birthday, Bamidele. Hey, darling. How are you? 
Oh, thank you, darling. You remembered. <laughs> we have a party to attend. Oh. And we're going together. Oh, okay. No problem. But I don't see anyone here. <laughs> you bastard. No, 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 no. I did not ask for any of such parties, okay? Look, just put that knife away before you hurt someone. There's a party in heaven that awaits both of us. No, not me. I didn't ask God for any party on to be arranged on my birthday, okay? Hey, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, what, what are you doing tonight? Madam! Madam, what's your phone? Hey, Madam, sorry. Sorry. Hey, Madam, sorry, sorry. 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 <laughs> Madam, sorry, 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 sorry. Mommy Jelly. What? You really have to be very patient with this matter. I know she must have done one thing or the other, but that shouldn't mean you should go and file a divorce paper immediately. Barista. Barista, I am tired. Okay? It's as simple as that. I want a divorce. Bamidele, I know you too well. What? But even at that, I know you are still angry, but please, think about this decision of yours. You, 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 you guys have sacrificed. You have sacrificed. Your wife have already sacrificed as well. There's absolutely nothing to think about. Okay? I can't live with her anymore. <laughs> Bamidele. What? Taking this decision you want to do now. You know that you will not go back if you ever sign a divorce paper with your wife. Listen, there is absolutely nothing to resolve. I can't live with her anymore. Bangadili. What? But you both have been together for so long in your marriage. You have sacrificed. I know. Okay? I know. But she's no longer the any I got married to. She's gone crazy. She almost killed me. Yes, listen, Femi. Femi, please, just do this for me. No, no, no. Oh, what, what do you mean by no? What do you mean, what, what, what is no? You're my friend, and then you're my legal advisor. So, why can't you just carry this thing out of me? Don't tell me no. Don't tell me no, because you're not in my shoes. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know the hell this girl puts me through. Where's that lunatic? Welcome. Where's that lunatic? Where's it, Nola? Madam, Get out of my way! Get out! You think you can get me that easily like that? After anything I did for you! I don't care whatever it is you've done for me. Okay, you're leaving this house today. Really? Yes, you really. You used to me for four years. Ruined my life and you think I would leave you like that? You must be a joker. Shameless dog! You want to leave me so that you can bring in your mistress and her daughter? What? I know everything, Bamdele! <laughs> what? You knew my womb was fragile. You did not tell me anything. You lied to me, you said everything was okay. Because you had your plans. I dated you for four years and you made me. I wanted four pregnancies for you. Look, now I know you're sick. Okay. Now I know you're crazy. I, I used to pity you before, but I don't even need to pity you anymore. And just that. Bamidele is kicking me out of his house. I don't know. I need you to come here right now. Like, quick. If you like, eh, call the president. I don't care. You're leaving this house today. I'm not leaving, Bamidele. I am not going anywhere. Are you okay? I'm not going Are anywhere. Are you okay? Get, get out of my way. Oh. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not anymore for this rubbish joke. Better get up from that place. Eniola. 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 
Look, get up, oh. I was only joking with you. I was joking. I was only joking, oh. Ella. Ella. Ella! Ella! Cynthia! Cynthia! Get, 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 me, get me a bowl of water, quickly! Why don't you get me a bowl of water? And you're like, Cynthia! Cynthia! And you're like, and you're like, I was only joking now, eh? Cynthia! And you're like, and you're like, ah, go, 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 go uh, beside my bed, eh? You could look for my, uh, the family doctor's number, I'll call the family doctor! Madam Bodai. Will you go and call the family doctor for me? What? What is happening here? Huh? Daddy, what is your wife? Oh, gosh, oh. Hey, daddy. Hey, Nola. Come on, wake up now. What? Wake what up. What happened to my niece? Wake what up What happened to her? Hey, She's up. She's up. Hey, Oh, Sorry. Hey. Sorry, hey. eh? What happened to her? It's just that, eh? Sit down. Sit down. Sorry. Ah, yeah. huh? I'm beginning to think you are not my son. If your mother was alive, I would ask her where she got you from. Because this your telling you behavior does not prove you are my son at all. I'm sorry, Daddy. Okay, but she started it, and your last started it. Uh, she, she has just changed drastically. In fact, she, she even almost stabbed me with a knife. Uh, eh? Yes, that, now. Is that true? Bamgele has a child inside. No, 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 no. That is not possible. Bamgele! Yes, come in. The door is open. Come in. Who is that? The door is not locked. Ah. Eh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes? My name is Detective Francis, and this is my colleague, Sergeant James, from the state CID. We are here to see Mr. Bamidele Morgan. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm Bamidele Morgan. What? Uh, if I may ask, why are you looking for him? Well, actually, we got an anonymous tip that is involved in the murder of Mrs. Eniola Morgan. Huh? No, I am Eniola Morgan. Nothing like that happened. Madam, can you please identify yourself? Okay, that, that's my picture. But if you still want me to bring any proof of ID, I can do that for you. Okay, no problem, madam. Um, we are very sorry to disturb you. Uh, we'll take our leave now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Please shut the door behind you. Thank you. No. Hey, well. Who called the police? Ah, who, who would have done such a thing? I did. Huh? Yeah. Why would you do such a thing? Because I want everyone here to know the devil that you really are. What? How dare you this refrap talk to my husband like that? Excuse me, lady. Let me tell you how precious your husband is. Bamidele. Is a treacherous monster. Uh, what has he done to you to deserve uh, such accusation? He ruined my sister's life. I didn't ruin anybody's life. How dare you! Shut up, you animal! <sighs> my late sister, Evelyn Lawrence, gave all her life to you. She even sold our late father's property and gave you all the money when you lied that you won a visa lottery. Oh, Bamidele, tell me it's not true. I'm afraid he can't. <laughs> Evelyn. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Family girl. Yes, darling. You started again with this, your sugar-coated rice. Oh, what? I'm serious. You're the rainbow in my dark clouds. 
<laughs> Mommy, I know you very well. Once you get to London now, you will forget everything about me. Why are you talking like this, Evelyn? Why are you talking like this? Ever since we've been together, have I done anything for you to doubt my love? Have I? I know you haven't, just that I'm scared. Don't be scared. Come on. I'm with you. I always have you in mind. Always. Okay. I'll take you for your words. Okay. Can you help me have the envelope there? Uh, what envelope? Oh, Just yes. this one? Yes, there. I keep such envelope in such such an obscure place. Okay, here's the money you need for your traveling. Huh? Yes. Where did you get all this money from? Mommy, just don't worry. Promise to keep me back as soon as you can. Now you want to make me cry. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know. I will never forget you. In fact, I will pay you times three of it. I love you so much. I love you. I was in school when my sister called me that she was very sick. I rushed back home and met her fully disoriented. Hmm. She explained everything that happened in her suicidal note. Evelyn. 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 Evelyn! I appreciate your support, care and love ever since we lost our parents. I wish I could pay you back in much gratitude and gracefulness, but I have been assumed to be an advocate of evil chick. It turned everything around with his selfishness and unreasonable act. I poisoned myself because he bravely <sighs> lied to me. <sighs> he promised to marry me after I trusted him with all I had. Family even didn't hide the pregnancy that I had. Oh my God! Oh. Please, I think I've done this. I've done this. I vow to avenge her death. I thought it would be fun if I taunt them, make them fight, so that we end up killing each other. Oh. When I realized Eniola was so obsessed over the thought that you were dating Sandra, I planted a pant in his trousers the same day he went to a party with Sandra. I saw that pant. I thought it was for Sandra. No wonder you thought I was dating Sandra. I was also the one who poured Pepe in the soup you all ate. Yeah? Oh, 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 oh. The one we had the other time. Yes. Baby. I saw the medical report in Bamadele's wardrobe. And I kept it where I know she would find it. I also downloaded Rebecca and Bamadele's picture online. I fabricated it. I made it look like she came here to deliver it herself. <sighs> so it was all you're doing. Bamadele never had a child outside. Of course not. I went to see the doctor the other day and he assured me that you could still bear a child. That was the news I was bringing home to you before you attacked me. I'm so sorry for everything. I'm sorry, Bandele. 
Mami Dele, I leave you to God to judge. Oh. God in heaven will judge you. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. I know there's no amount of sorry that can bring back your sister, but uh, I, I'm really sorry and I promise I will return all the money I borrowed from her in the first place. No you know who go and assault her? Who? My daughter. I beg you, eh? please don't be angry. Eh? I don't know where this coconut head got all those behaviors from. Eh? Don't worry, we will pay every copper that they collected from your sister. Eh? Your Please. It's alright, sir. I, I think I've done enough. I need to take my leave. Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia. I'm so sorry for whatever my family might have caused you. I'm a bad Johnny. How about you? Daddy, we've settled the issue here. Yeah. All the problems she put me through. Thank God everything is over now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. No, no problem. No, no problem. Let us just finish with this one first. 